uh, currencies this morning. So the dollar's starting to come off. Um, this can still be a final fourth and we get up to that 97.90 or we can be done. We've done enough. We hit the 1618 in the final diagonal up which is a pretty standard expectation. I was looking for the 1764, mainly because I'm looking for a slightly lower low in the euro dollar. Uh, it doesn't have to, but it would hit the fib slightly better if it did. So I'm looking for this move down here on the hourly chart in the um, euro dollar before we push back up in the bigger wave two. Um, so um, again, this is a nice tradable move up here, but I'd use the day trading charts and wait for the initial part of the move and then a pullback to to get long rather than trying to bottom catch the thing and there's plenty of pips in it and we can play the a and the c i'd leave the b alone um, so again the ease of trading that depends on whether it gives us an impulse for the a or not or whether it decides to do it in an abc or even a diagonal for the a um, cable uh, has held where it needed to for this two so i'm looking for the three four five of the c of its two up um, before it then gives us a much bigger drop. So that's all still uh, in line with expectation. And I'm still looking for higher in the US dollar Japanese yen. We need to just break out the top of this um, resistance zone here, then 114.55, then 115.43, and, and then so on and so forth. Um, I'm hoping that we actually push up to the 116.73 area, which is the higher end of the target box for the... Um, wave three in a diagonal, then we'll get a deep four back and then a fifth up to that 119 area in um, the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the Australian dollars, we've got this move up that could be the one of the initial wave one of a C wave up. We have this straight move down here, we hit the 50% retrace of the move up, but I, I don't think we're done. I think that's an A wave at best, then we get a B, C to one of these lower fibs. And that's on the assumption that this two was in over here, um, which isn't my main expectation. I'm still thinking we're going to come down one more time to that 69.55 fib. But if we get a uh, now get a B C and it holds and hits one of the lower two fibs in the support region, then I would um, take the long. And I'll also be looking for once we've got the B wave in place, looking for the A to C relationship for a 1.0 or a 138.2 A to C relationship as well to add confidence to that entry.